how to make cinnamon rolls the vegan way. So for the dough, you're going to need 480 ml of room temperature soy milk. You're going to need 115 grams of vegan margarine. You're going to need 50 grams of caster sugar. You're going to need one packet of active dry yeast. You're going to need 690 grams of plain flour and one teaspoon of salt. So for the filling, you're going to need a vegan margarine. So you're going to need 170 grams of your vegan margarine. You're going to need 160 grams of your brown sugar. And you're going to need two tablespoons of ground cinnamon. So for the icing, you're going to need 150 grams of whitened sugar, you're going to need two tablespoons of soy milk and you're going to need half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So the first thing you'll need to do is to preheat your oven to 180 degrees centigrade. I'm using a fan oven. This will be quite useful for proving your dough. The first thing you'll need to do is it's cleaning time so you need to get a nice warm soapy cloth and be wiping down your surfaces. The second thing you'll need to do is get an antibacterial spray and just spray lightly your surfaces, ready for cooking. So what you're going to do is you're going to grease your tray using your vegan margarine. You may need two trays for this. Okay, so in a large bowl, you're going to pour your soy milk going to add your melted margarine and you're going to whisk until combined. You're going to sprinkle your yeast over the top and you're going to set aside for one minute. Next stage you're going to add your flour. going to add one teaspoon of salt. If you mix with your spoon until totally combined into a dough. You may need a little bit extra flour just to bring it to a dough. Okay, so I've turned it onto the surface just to give it a little bit of a knead. I've put a little bit of flour on my surfaces just to make sure it didn't stick. And basically I'm kneading it. So I'm punching it, bringing it into the middle, punching it, bringing it into the middle, punching it, bringing it into the middle. Okay, and what I'm going to do now, I've got it into a dough ball, is I'm going to place it back into my glass bowl. I'm going to place a piece of cling film over the top and I'm going to put it in a warm place for about an hour. Okay, so whilst your dough is proving in the top oven, not the bottom one because we don't want to bake it, we just want to, to activate the yeast. Okay, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be making your icing. So you're going to put your icing sugar into your bowl. You're going to add two tablespoons of your soy milk. One, two, and you're going to add half a teaspoon of your vanilla essence. And then you're going to stir until it reaches a paste until you can't see any lumps of icing sugar. What you can do is just tip your bowl slightly to the side and use the back of your spoon just to squash any lumps of icing sugar. If it feels too runny, what you can do is just put it in the fridge to chill, which will harden it up a little bit. Make sure that it's really well floured. Any 
dough that's left in the bowl like this, just use a little bit of flour just to scrape it out with your fingers until you've got a clean bowl. You don't want that floating around in your washing or water. This is dough, so we'll get it all out because that way we'll have more cinnamon rolls. Okay, any excess flour, pile that onto your dough. And what you're going to do is give it a bit of a knead. Add flour if you need it, if it's sticking to your surface. I would say I've probably added an extra 100 grams of plain flour. So you're just kneading it until it stops sticking to the surface. And then what we're going to do is we're going to be rolling out the dough into a rectangle. So I would flour your surface again. Or spread what you have already around ready for rolling your rectangle onto your surfaces. It's going to be quite a large rectangle, so you probably need to flour quite a large area. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to roll out your dough into a rectangle until it's approximately one centimetre in thickness. It will start trying to shrink back what you can do is you can neaten up your edges, a bit of a top tip, neaten up your edges either with a pizza cutter or with a knife so that we've got a really neat rectangle. So we're looking for one centimetre in thickness, rolling it one way and then rolling it the other. So any excess dough could be re-kneaded and made into another rectangle to make some more cinnamon rolls. Okay, so you're going to neaten your rectangle off with a pizza cutter. I just find this a lot easier to do it this way. Okay, and what you're going to do now, so that excess dough, I'm going to keep again for re-rolling. And I'm just going to do something quite strange, okay? I'm actually going to get my margarine and I'm going to spread it over my dough, like so. Keep a little bit left over, just because you're gonna need it for your other dough. So I'm gonna spread it. What's gonna happen is I'm then going to be adding my cinnamon and my brown sugar, which I've pre-mixed together already. So that's two tablespoons of my cinnamon. Mix with my brown sugar, spread it over. Okay, so it's totally covering all the areas. The reason why you want it covering all the areas is you're now going to be sprinkling your brown sugar and your cinnamon Okay, so using the long side, you're going to just turn the first centimetre onto itself just to, so you can start your rolling. It's a bit like rolling a carpet. Okay, so using your fingers, working quickly. And again, all the way across. Got our roll. And then what we're going to do is we're then going to cut it into equal pieces. So I would say we'll probably go for eight equal pieces and then we're going to put it in a plate, we're going to put it in that warm place to rise again for 30 minutes.
paste your cinnamon rolls over your cake tin, what you're then going to do is cover it over again with a new piece of cling film and it's going to have another 30 minutes of proving time. So time to rise again in the top oven that's not on. Okay, so any excess rolls, what you can do is use the cling film that you had over earlier and just put it onto a baking tray and also give it the 30 minutes. Okay, so once you've taken it out of your to cook for 25 to 30 minutes. It's been 25 to 30 minutes. There are several ways you can either present it. So you can either use a sugared water just over the top, or you could melt some apricot jam as an example. Okay, or you might have a combination of both where you've got your sugared water and then what you can do then is you could drizzle over your icing which you made earlier so i'm just making that that will make it all nice and sticky so give your icing a stir just to make it nice and loose so that it drizzles and then what you can do then is just do a, a pattern such as itself it's best on when it's warm and you can see it you could just finish it off as well maybe with a little bit of your cinnamon sugar just to give it a bit of a dusting and that will stick to any of the icing that's previously been put on.